We have had a lot of internet connection issues in our house over the last few months and every time the internet is down or the Wi-Fi is slow, my whole family starts looking at me as if I've done something. Where with Virgin Media on the 200 download and 20 upload plan, I've had three engineers out within the last month. I think we're pretty much sorted now. Second engineer that came out, he replaced the Hub 3 because it wasn't working. He replaced it with the Hub 4, which runs quite good actually. They normally give that to customers who are on the 1 gig. The internet set up in my house, in the hallway I have the Hub 4 and then in my home office, I have a TP-Link AX15 router which I'm using as an access point and that is also providing Ethernet connection to my PC and then on the second floor I have power line adapters. Power line adapters do work okay but they're a bit temperamental at times. With power line adapters you've got to make sure you're on the same wiring. My house is four year old so I'm okay. Second of all you've got to be on the same ring mains and even if there's a little problem with the electrics in your house the power line adapters will not work. So I'm looking at Wi-Fi range extenders. Prime Day sales was on a 2020 and this normally retails for 60 pounds they had it on for 44 pounds so i thought i'll give it a go if it works i'm future proofing my network this does have the wi-fi 6 which is the new wi-fi range but at the moment my devices are not fully compatible with wi-fi 6 i have the iphone 11 pro max that's compatible and that works really good because my router the tp link ax 1500 that supports wi-fi 6 and i were connected to the 5g i walked right across the road i were watching a 4k clip on netflix it was working absolutely fine no issues at all. Where I'm going to place this on the second floor, it's not a complete dead zone, but the Wi-Fi is really slow. Let's have a quick look at the packaging. TP-Link Wi-Fi 6, AX1500 dual band. These speeds are hypothetical by the way. 5G 1200 Mbps and the 2.4G 300 Mbps. 5G is a shorter range but it's a lot stronger and it's less congested and the 2.4G is a longer range. It's more congested and it's not that strong. Model number RE505X. It works with any router. You do get three years guarantee with this. Quick look at this side. You can also use this as an access point mode as well. Some information there. Then some information on this side. I'm going to be connecting it with the app in this video. Let's get it unboxed. Some paperwork. Instruction manual. Three ways to set it up with the app that's what i'm going to do web browser and then the wps button as well it still once it's set up and then you relocate it now it's your router your devices and then halfway more information on this side what the lights mean stuff okay let's look at the actual product that's it nothing else tp link power on off wi-fi 2.4 g and 5g two antennas which only go upwards or down. It's quite big that actually. On this side, it's got a lock button and the reset there. Ethernet port. Some information at the back there. And of course I'm in the UK, so mine is a three pin one there. Yeah, that's what it looks like from the bottom. Okay, let's get it connected. I've connected the TP-Link range extender. As you can see, the light is solid blue. The network names come up TP-Link extender. Now I need to go to the app I have installed. As you can see there, that's the TP-Link app. I click on that. It's come up straight away, RE55X. I need to create a password here. Now, do remember this password is not going to be the password for the actual extender. This is going to be a password just for the app. So I'll just quickly make anything up. Select the 2.4 gigahertz host network, which is the one at the top. I need to enter the password for that. Now it's asking me to do the same thing for the five, connected now to 2.4G and the 5G. Next. Here it's letting me know I can change the name of the extender because it's come up as 2.4G and the name of my existing network and it's got an EXT at the end. There we go, we're fully connected. That looks good. Congratulations, you're all set. Done. I bought up the existing network name, EXT at the end. To make things simpler, I can not just go back into the settings, get rid of the EXT from both of them. That way when I'm going from one room to another, I'm not having to re-enter the passwords. It will seamlessly connect from my router to the Wi-Fi range extender, to my power line adapters, to my access point, because that's what I've done with them. Well, the power line adapters, they were really easy to connect anyway. But with my access point, I've given it the same SSID and the same password. So I'm not having to constantly change. For now, I'm leaving it as it is because I'm going to run some speed tests just to show you if it does make a difference or if it doesn't. And as you can see it's letting me know there's one client that's the Galaxy S7 Edge and it's running on the 2.4G 
5G. If I put it somewhere where there's not enough Wi-Fi range, that will, of course, start going red. I need to move it because the thing with the Wi-Fi range extender is it's not like a power line adapter. You can't put it anywhere. You've got to put it somewhere where there's a bit of Wi-Fi and then it will carry on the Wi-Fi from there. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll relocate this. I'll put it upstairs and then I'll run some speed tests. I relocated the Wi-Fi range extender upstairs in one of the kids' bedrooms and the hub is downstairs in the hallway. It's sitting in an open area. There's nothing blocking or anything. It's not in any corner. The first thing, I ran a speed test just with the hub's Wi-Fi without putting the extender on and the results are here. Download speed is 54.4 and upload is 19.3 and he had a ping of 12, which is quite good actually. Then after that, I did 2.4G extender, which is 55.2. It's slightly better in the download speed, but the upload is 14.3, so it's slightly slower. And the ping has gone to 19. I ran the speed test on the 5G. Here's where things improved a lot. It went from 55.2 on the 2 gigahertz to 127 the download and 19 on the upload, a lot better. However, the ping went to 14, which isn't much of a difference because on the Hub 4, it was 12, so it went to 14. It's still better than the 2.4. The other thing, this does have, of course, the ethernet port. I am able to run a wide connection because my son, he likes gaming, but he doesn't want anything like a power line adapter or a Wi-Fi range extender in his room. He runs it wirelessly. When someone is running a gaming console wirelessly, it's affecting the Wi-Fi for everyone else in the house because of course the consoles take up a lot of bandwidth. If he were to use this run cable from his console to the TP-Link range extender, that will free up the Wi-Fi for us guys. It'll give him a better experience of playing as well. It'll be low latency. As far as recommended, this yeah it's a decent product however i will say sales are coming on just to wait because it's back on for 60 pounds but even like me if you don't have enough wi-fi 6 compatible devices at the moment you are future proofing yourself i hope this video has helped someone if it has give it a thumbs up and do consider subscribing because i do different product reviews thank you very much for watching i'll see you all in my next video